I'm going to introduce Andy Dickerson, and he'll give uh, some more uh, logic behind this ask tonight. But uh, I have prepared a memo. I only touch on a few points. Our board is familiar with this program that Ohio has, the NRAC. It's something that we supported five and six years ago when Cumberland County Park District. It's the same funds to acquire land immediately next to us. So this area is between uh, 048 and Abandonville Road. Uh, the specific 89 acres Andy's going to talk about about a year ago was annexed partially from the township. I want to say partially. There's a type of annexation in Ohio where it actually, uh, the property, in a sense, resides in both communities from a taxing standpoint. Really, taxing is a moot point because this property has been enjoyed by the community for generations upon generation, and the grill is already a tax exempt property. So, uh, from a taxing standpoint, moot point because we would go to enjoying a beautiful piece of property that's been preserved under the Grail's ownership, and we do not receive property taxes. If Cardinal Lane Conservancy was able to become the owner and caretaker permanently, they also would not be paying property taxes. So uh, it, it's really a moot point from a tax structure, and I just wanted to, to, to point that out. And so um, we have one slide that will show the aerial to orient you to where this is. But um, I've worked with Cardinal Lane Conservancy before. Uh, it's nice to see a lot of familiar faces of Grail supporters, so I'm really happy that this could be the outcome for the property. All right, thanks, Joe. Um, so I'll, I'll just tell you briefly a little more about Cardinal Land Conservancy, who we are, and how we got to this point. So we're a nonprofit land trust. We represent a merger between three land trusts. Uh, it's Clint County Open Lands, uh, the Southern Ohio Farmland Preservation Association, and the Citizens Land Conservancy of Hamilton County. They all came together and merged in 2015 and formed one conservancy. And I was hired as their first executive director. And it was a, a one-man band for a while. And you know, we, we've had some good success. We started out, we had around 1,400 acres protected. Most of those agricultural easements. Um, we're now up to seven staff and three interns this summer. And we have uh, easements on about 8,300 acres. The majority of those are protecting family farms. We do agricultural preservation. And 700 acres we own outright as nature preserves and open to the public. So our mission is to protect green space and agricultural space and even urban open space. Um, we've got uh, 11 members on our board. We've got room for 17. Uh, we meet here, our office is in Milford uh, at the Sign of Valley View Foundation. And I, I was one of the founders of Valley View 20 some years ago where we, we, we took a lot of pride in, in creating a 220 acre nature preserve that bordered an elementary school. Um, the kids have been great uh, growing up and having that exposure. And that's something we'd like to do on this side. Um, we, we've had some recent success uh, where we've, we've got, uh, you know, those of you who may not have heard, we've got a preserve at the mouth of the Little Miami River. So the Little Miami River that we all care about runs into the Ohio River and we were able to secure clean Ohio funds to buy 120 acres. And I didn't know this when I was looking at it because there's endangered mussels and endangered uh, plants on the site, but there's an active bald eagle nest. So we were able to get a, a couple of cameras on that nest, and Bonnie and Clyde have become famous. Of, <laughs> they raise three eagle chicks every year, and it's, it's a lot of fun watching them, watching them grow. We had at one point 30,000 people watching the cameras this year. So it's, it's, it's amazing, and we're getting the word out. Next year, um, we're going to involve students and study eagle behavior, because there's a lot to learn from watching parents of three eaglets that you just don't don't get a chance to see um, so when it comes to this site I, I've worked in conservation for a lot of years I, I was the director of science for the nature conservancy in Ohio and helped take care of properties all over the state and even um, advised on conservation impact plans from Canada down to Central America and the Caribbean and to me there's no place as beautiful as home and this place has it um, Five or six years ago, um, we were looking at preserving the property here, and, and the park district wanted to get involved. So we're like, well, we're friends with the park district. Get along great. Um, we let them go, and they were successful. They had a, a couple of grants, and they secured land. And but they they figured out that they were they were about done, and they weren't going to go for any more. It's pretty pricey, and the grant funds are hard to come by. We're in a unique spot where there's significant grant funding left over that we could if we rank out, and, and with your support, 
get a big chunk of it to buy this property and get the remainder of the, what the grill has on the south side of the road. Uh, what we'd like to do is, you kind of see the open area on the right side, on the east side. We're partners with the park district. Um, we'll work with them to help them restore their native prairie and grassland. And on the west side, we want to put trees back, the trees that should be there, get rid of the ones that shouldn't. There's a pond and uh, kind of in the middle there. Uh, on the east side, we want to restore and allow a place for safe access to fishing. And, you know, up on the north part, you see it's kind of a funky design here because, you know, the rail actually, they have 109 acres. We're only looking, we couldn't afford to, so, but there's not the money in the grant to fund the whole property. So we're looking to get 89 and uh, use other funding sources to get the mandatory. So we do want to, want to get it all. Um, but our, our idea here is to, is to make this our new uh, corporate office. Oh, it sounds big for a seven employee firm, but it's big to us. Uh, there's several structures on the site that are wonderful and historic that we love to restore, and there's a few that aren't so wonderful and need a dozer. So, you know, we'll, our, our goal is to work with the community to save those buildings and use them, and invite the community to use them. Um, have our two mile trail, have the fishing, uh, work with the schools that are all around us and maybe new schools in the future. Um, but, but one of our dreams too is to work with a couple different hospitals. There's plenty of room in the big restored barn ODA to have doctors see patients to actually use nature as a treatment for some of the common ailments like uh, mental health disorders. That outside, we have the science behind outside is, is good for that. Um, so I'm here to ask you tonight, it, it's required as a uh, nonprofit seeking clean up grant funds to get a formal resolution of support. We're not looking for funds from you guys. We just need a, a letter of resolution of support to put our application in. Well, can I just tell you that for the 22 years that I've been a trustee, Loretta knows I have worked so hard to try to keep that rail not developed keep it the green space that it was meant to be. And it's been very difficult because as times change and there's not money and then it was difficult when it was a retreat center and then that all kind of went upside down. So thank you, Cardinal yeah. Lamb, for, for stepping up. We, despite the rumors that might have been floating around, never had the desire to see more housing there. Never. That was not Miami Township's desire. We want to see green space. We want, we want places in nature. You're looking at a township that has how many acres of parkland that we've created. We, we want that balance, so thank you. And I happily make a motion to adopt a resolution 2023-26, expressing the support for the trustees of Miami Township, Claremont County, for the application for the grant from the 2023 Clean Ohio Conservation Fund, NRAC 10, by the Cardinal Land Conservancy on behalf of the Grail, for the purchase of approximately 89 acres in fee title by the Cardinal Land Conservancy for the Grail in order to create a permanent green space within Miami Township and the city of Loveland and dispensing with the second reading. Second. Mayor Wolf. Aye. Mark Schulte. Aye. Increase. Aye. Thank you. I was going to say because we've been so committed to this property like this for years. And well, we, just yeah. wait. It's going to be amazing. Oh, we're happy it's for you. We so really awesome. are. We wish you the best. And remember that we're Miami Township. We're not Milford and we're not Loveland. We're Miami Township. We're proud of us. All right. We have um, next agenda item is correspondence.